There's a big difference designing games for kids versus adults and that kids have zero patience. So once a kid really likes something, he'll play it forever, right? That's watching the same movie over and over and over again. But if he doesn't like it five minutes later, this is dumb and he's gone, right? And to some extent, free-to-play audiences are almost that way, right? So there's a little bit of similarity there just because the barrier of entry is so low. But with kids, I think it's more giving them an opportunity to succeed. I think kids really represent, uh, to a large extent, uh, intolerance of failure. That's not to say they can't fail in a game and learn from it. I just think when you're making a game for kids, it, it's a good rule all the time, but with kids I emphasize it. You need to make sure when the, when the player fails, he absolutely understands what he did and how it can be different next time, right? And I think that's key, not you know, necessarily from a learning perspective, but from a sense of mastery. So if I failed this jump three times, I can myself figure out what I'm doing wrong, and then when I do make that jump, I feel great, right? That feeling of feeling great is what you're going for, and if, if the player can't understand what he did wrong, he'll never get to the great on the other side. He's just gonna leave in frustration. So I think that's, that's true overall for games, but for kids, I think it's especially important because there's so much frustration in their daily lives, I think. When you're younger, there's so many things that you just can't control that this game you really want to like that has a character you really like because you saw him in a movie and you really want to do it, right? You don't want that to end with, oh, and I'm, I'm just not good enough to play this game. You want it to end in success.